Hey, this is Adam Pratt at the Game Grid Arcade in West Valley City, Utah. At the Valley Fair Mall, we're next to the Red Robin Restaurant. Our entrance is on the outside of the mall, as you can see there. And today I'm reviewing The Act uh, by Cecropia. Uh, you might have heard about The Act already. I put some videos of it up on YouTube before. Uh, as you can see here, it's not in the same cabinet that it was when it was location tested. I actually got a beachhead cabinet and put it into that because when I got it, I got it as a kit, so I had to throw it into something else. Um, the act, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like Dragon's Lair, but it's a lot more interactive than that, uh, as you'll see. Uh, it's a really fun game. It's also very funny in its storyline and how it plays. Uh, one thing that helps it be unique is the knob or spinner controller here, uh, which controls the emotional or physical reaction of the character that you play, Edgar. Um, and the further over you go, usually the more intense his reaction gets. But it varies from scene to scene. Um, but I'll get started here. We have it set to three tokens to play. Uh, it's six tokens per dollar here. So roughly 50 cents. <coughs> Now the act is heavily story based. There's a lot of these cutscenes uh, that you watch first before you actually play. You go jigger up. <laughs> All right. So when you see this, this is when you start playing. And by turning the knob slightly, it's when my reaction gets different. Now sometimes it's about slowly going over. You don't want to scare her off like this. <laughs> sometimes it's funny just to screw up to see what happens. <clears throat> now, if you do screw up, it will rewind the scene and it'll tell you kind of what you did wrong, what you need to do now to improve. You mean? Now, there's no voice acting in this, it's just all instrumental. Got the finest fist club in the world. You also have to listen for uh, audible cues and watch her reaction. As, see, as she starts dancing, you should start grooving too. If I just stay there, winter over. Oh yeah. Now every scene's different in what you'll do, and so you kind of have to learn as you go because what I just did there is going to be completely different than what I have to do here. Uh, and that goes throughout the game. <clears throat> and I'll try and get some later scenes recorded. Like right now I need to get my boss back in the window and keep my brother here working. And I do that by going left over here. And go right to get him going back. Sometimes it can be a little difficult, it definitely gets harder as it goes on. But one interesting thing about the act, uh, compared to other arcade games from what I've seen so far, is a lot of people get so into this game that they'll actually play it all the way to the end. Um, there are a lot of arcade games that people might throw in a coin or two, play a couple of times. Um, depending on what it is, but it's not often where you actually get to see people play all the way through till the end. Uh, but this one's just such a fun game that I've had several people uh, want to see the ending.
And it really is too bad that this was canceled. This would make an excellent game in any arcade. Uh, it's been doing very well here at the Game Grid. Uh, and of course, since it's such a rare game, this is the only place you'll find it. They only made about 40 of them, and out of those, uh, I'd say probably 10 or so were actually sold on eBay. Now this scene, by turning the knob right, I'll mimic the reaction of happiness or laughter. If I go over to the left, I start grimacing. And so the point of this scene is, is to mimic the reactions exactly. Um, and of course, again, it's just slight movements. Don't go all the way over because that will uh, do too, well, too big of an emotion, so. With that cue, I have to start acting like they are grimacing and whatnot. Let's see what happens when I go too far over to the left. <laughs> well, that'll get me thrown out. But again, there's a lot more to it. You can play this for quite a while and go through it many times. And it's a lot of fun, so come over to the game grid and check it out. Let me go all the way over to the right. <laughs> So hopefully Sucropia will change their minds and bring this back. So that would be excellent for a lot of arcades. But that's it for now. We'll see you later.